all of the examples I just played were in the key of G major. You can play these anywhere on the neck between any two strings. It doesn't really matter. You can practice them chromatically, meaning if you were playing this one, perhaps play it four times in each position and then move up a half step. Or you can pick a key and play them diatonically. In other words, conform your fingers to the notes in the key. You can practice these scale fragments with the metronome, as we discussed, or there's a couple of other ways to develop speed. First way involves playing the exercise over and over and over, but starting in a slow tempo and gradually increasing the speed and then bringing it back down to a slow tempo. So you're almost like revving, you're almost revving your playing. And as you do this, as you play faster, you can also vary the degree of dynamics that you pick with. You can pick harder or softer. It's a really good way to develop the speed. Here's an example. Another way of developing speed is by playing the exercise over and over and over, but this time playing consistently at a slow to moderate tempo and then sort of blasting out a fast tempo only a couple of times. So in other words, you're jogging for a while, then you're going to sprint for a second and go back to jogging. This is a way to build stamina as well as speed. It sounds like this. Now a fun thing to do when you're working on all these exercises, since they're pretty similar, some of them are using 16th notes and some are 16th note triplets, is to sort of interact. In other words, mix them together. Like you might have one that sounds like, which is what I've been playing for the last couple of seconds. And there was another one that went, there was also another one that went, Try combining some of these exercises randomly and use your imagination. It might sound something like this. Each one of these fragments could now be used in a longer sequence of notes, perhaps a run through a scale or whatnot. So let me show you how a few of these can be developed. One, two, three, four. You should recognize the first part of that as the three note per string fragment that we did before. Except I transposed it to the key of A and played it through an A major scale. And 
the sequence consisted of playing that same pattern starting from each string. And then using the descending pattern to do the same thing. play these patterns through the scales. You can change positions. You can play and repeat the sequence in any position as many times as you want. Just kind of mix it up and that makes for a good run in a solo if you're trying to build some tension. I'll demonstrate that a little bit later. Let's move on to another long sequence of notes that's based off of another fragment. And here's the descending version of that. Okay, once again, hopefully you recognize the little fragments that originated these little runs. And descending, while it's fresh in our mind, came from that and 